Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we are going to be jumping straight into the best PvP tier list weapon list. Here we have 11 weapons to go through, Sword and Shield, Rapier, Hatchet, Warhammer, Great Axe, Spear, Bow, Musket, Fire Staff, Life Staff, and Ice Gauntlet. During this video, we are going to try to understand what they are good at. Obviously, Hatchet, a very good 1v1 weapon, but is it that great in war? So we're going to try to really kind of discuss all of that in one video here today. So it may be a little lengthy, but we'll try to keep it short and give you guys my idea on what is the strongest weapon and what is maybe the weakest weapon during this new world closed beta when regarding PVP and 1v1s, 2v2s, uh, you know, really 50v50s and everything else. So we're going to start with the first weapon today going to be sword and shield. So sword and shield on the one handed side, I have not leveled it up much in the closed beta. I played against it plenty. I have friends that played it a lot. We've dueled quite a bit on the New World Closed Beta to test some things out, and I've seen it, obviously, in War as well. So there's a lot of opportunity for me to see it in that PvE content um, as well in Dungeons, but this is all about PvP. So disregard any PvE content. When we're looking here through some of the Masteries, I know I have my tier list there in the way, but uh, that's going to be perfectly fine because the biggest thing to note in when we're talking about the Sword and Shield is PvP, and I think if we talk about really what kind of opportunities sword and shield bring to the table it's a definitely going to be a b tier for me i think it's going to be a very very solid weapon choice however a lot of sword and shield players right now are unfortunately going to be forced into uh you know playing that uh more of a tanky medium heavy armor type pvp -er. and you know it's going to be great in maybe some wars uh it's going to be great in some I guess small scale PvP. However, if you get to large scale, it is very, very hard to get around. You have to, you know, go light armor if you want to roll around in this game. And unfortunately, medium to heavy armor is usually what sword and shield players go, making it very, very hard to move around. And I do think, you know, sword and shield is going to be a very, very strong uh, weapon in the near future. And uh, disregard, obviously, sword and shield there. It is kind of hard to see some of these pictures, but you should be able to read the first little bit of the word and understand that sword and shield is in that B, B tier list. I am going to rate these pretty hard uh, so do expect you know some pretty hard rankings on maybe some of your favorite weapons and obviously if you don't you utilize these weapons in a better way than some other players you can make a C weapon B and S weapon very very easily and obviously like I said these are all my experiences my opinions so nobody please get uh, too her over my thoughts here. So we're going to jump into the next one, just going straight down the list, Rapier. You guys know I love Rapier. I use it quite often. Um, I always go in the Grace category using Evade, Repost, and uh, Flesh as well. So just a great, great build in my opinion. I don't think it's overpowered. I don't think it's underpowered. I think it's a great opportunity to play very, very quickly. At the same time, you are punished because, uh, like I said, there's not really much CC unless they attack you with Repost. So we're going to jump straight into putting Rapier at the A tier list. I think it's you know a solid weapon. I don't think it needs nerfed. I don't think it needs buffed. I think it's a you know right where it needs to be. And that's I think sword shield maybe having uh, really having a way of making it a little bit stronger in some of these smaller duels may be a better option uh, because right now we have. Uh, next in the list, Hatchet, and Hatchet is another one-handed weapon. We have all known about that Defy Death. One of the um, amazing, really, ultimates that pretty much everybody uses in New World is Defy Death. So when you receive lethal damage, avoid death, reduce to 50 HP, and gain immortality for 3 seconds. And this is a 75 second cooldown, so it is a long cooldown. However, it's insanely strong in pretty much small-scale PvP all the way up until War. I've seen Hatchet's wreck back backlines in War. It does very, very massive amounts of of damage um, you know in my opinion it's still not insanely insanely overpowered I do think it does barely touch possibly that S tier just because of how strong really as a little scratch of the throat there but we actually you know how strong it is in war as well as how strong it is in um, you know really small scale PvP with the amount of damage and obviously defying death I think it is just like I said on that bottom side of the S tier if we actually have hatchet here there we go I couldn't find it there for a second so bottom side of the S tier in my opinion so uh, just barely barely above the rapier I think rapier like I said has a very uh, high skill cap and I think you know because of that we have seen terrible rapier players and we've seen amazing rapier players obviously I'm not saying I'm very good because I do have a lot of PvP gameplay uh, I am trying to get better just like all of you so let's jump 
into the spear. Spear is one of those that I do believe needs to be tuned up a little bit. I think the spear is a very, very good weapon. Not bad at all. Right along with that sword and shield, in my opinion, having a great impact in a lot of small scale PvP fights. However, it's one of those weapons that does take you hitting a lot of abilities. And with a lot of people running around with light armor right now, it is very, very hard, in my opinion, to uh, you know see spears make a huge impact. So because of that, if you're playing against really good players, spear, in my opinion, like I said, is going to be right along that sword and shield route with a B. So jumping into another weapon, let's go back here. We are on the, uh, the Great Axe, and this is a weapon, in my opinion, that is very, very overtuned at the moment. We've all known this uh, for a while. I think you guys know my thoughts on the rapier, or sorry, not the rapier, but the, um, you know, the Great Axe itself, the pull, the gravity well. It's all very, very strong, and you can see uh, just how strong it is in some of those PvP videos. If you guys haven't watched my buddy Alf, he's utilizing rape or not rape here. He's utilizing hatchet and great axe right now. So if you guys want to check his PvP videos out, see how strong this really is. He is going to be linked in the description down below. So check him out. Um, he has some great content as well. Obviously, we play a lot together as well. So. Like I said, Great Axe definitely going to be in an S tier without a doubt for me. I think, you know, that's such a strong, strong weapon. Has such, you know, I mean, from a 100 meter distance, you could be ranged. Uh, the Great Axe is going to get you. And they have poles, they have gravity wells. The gravity well is unbelievably strong. Uh, you can't roll out of it. Just if you've played against a good person with a Great Axe and you're starting to see Great Axes everywhere you go now in PvP, there's great reasons as to why because it's so, so strong. So we're going to say Great Axe obviously going to make, like I said, that S tier. Uh, I've seen it in such great uh, fashion recently. So many people trying to utilize it. And uh, because of that, like I said, S tier. And I'm actually going to put it in front of the hatchet. So we will kind of order these in the tier that I believe uh, strength. So I think Sword and Shield is a little bit better in Spear at the moment. So jumping into the next one, we do have Warhammer. Another Another weapon that I think is very, very strong in war has so much CC capabilities and big, big, uh, you know, really possibilities for messing up huge amounts of people. However, small scale PVP should be known as it is a little bit harder to make use of you know, the, really the Warhammer in, uh, you know, like I said, small scale PVP, but I do think in wars, it's great. So because of that, I do think it's serving the purpose that it really needs to serve. Uh, but you know, it's just, in my opinion, it's still a little bit weaker on the side of things. And I think Warhammer goes right between sword and shield and spear, uh, being right behind sword and shield and right in front of spear. Next, we have the ranged weapons being bow. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about bow, how strong it is, you know, the mobility that you really receive from bow. However, how hard it is to aim in PVP is pretty ridiculous when compared to the musket. If we are going to make it that hard to aim, it should do a little bit more damage, in my opinion, than the musket. So because of all of that, I do think bow is actually going to be, in my opinion, a late B tier at the very... I shouldn't put everything in B realistically, so I'm going to actually move it down to C just because it is the bottom of the B, in my opinion, at the moment. So we're going to put it into the C tier. Uh, bow is just not as strong as musket, and we've talked about musket as well as I used to go rape here musket in the beginning of the closed beta. You can actually see here I have 13 uh, as my level here, or my, I should say, weapon mastery. Uh, I do love the powder burn. I think powder burn is insanely strong. Stopping power, yet another... You you know, CC lock, you have traps, you have a uh, power shot, you have shooter stance for wars and sticky bombs for wars. So there's a great utility, a really kind of around musket altogether. And I think musket is just a all around solid weapon. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's, a you know, too overpowered or too overtuned. So because of that, I do think musket is actually going to go in the A tier with rapier. As we move along, I do think musket is actually maybe just right right behind rapier maybe because i do think rapier is very very strong right now um just unfortunately it's a little bit hard to stick onto somebody with rapier because like i said not much cc involved unless they attack you with repost so jumping into the fire staff next fire staff is definitely one of the strongest ranged weapons right now in my opinion having use in definitely uh you know small scale as well as large scale pvp being war you guys saw it recently in war how really strong it could actually be and we're going to jump back into the uh tier list here and we're going to put fire staff not in the c tier not in the b tier it's actually going to make it to a tier and i'm going to put it in front of the rapier i think fire staff is a little overtuned i think the autos are too strong in my opinion uh that's why i've currently jumped to fire staff rapier it works for that build going full intelligence and using a gem um like an arcane 20 percent increase in my rapier is definitely a great way to have some fun in pvp so currently this is what we're looking like for the tier list i will put it full screen here in a little bit once we get done with the life staff and ice gauntlet so moving back along, we have the Life Staff. I think Life Staff's in a great spot right now. Um, you know, it could be a little bit stronger, maybe, uh, you know, a little bit stronger as in, you know, doing some damage as well. But, you know, it serves its purpose. I think it's in a great spot. Um, 
you know, let me know what you guys think about the life stuff. I think that's one of those that's hardest for me to actually pick as I have, you know, a buddy that does use life staff quite a bit, but you know, it is hard in my opinion to really pick where it goes because there is no other, uh, healing staff. So what are you really comparing it to? Um, so because of that, I am just going to put it right in front. I'll put it in the front of the B tier right now, because I think it, like I said, it could use a little bit of a buff, um, but right in the front of sword and shield, warhammer and spear, we'll put it right there. So jumping back, we do want to go to, uh, our very last weapon, it's going to be the Ice Gauntlet. I've used the Ice Gauntlet quite a bit, like I said, in the last iteration. Um, actually, during New World Alpha a little bit, when they gave us those patch notes and threw us the Ice Gauntlet. I used it quite a bit because I loved the idea behind it. It was really fun to auto-attack, in my opinion, with the Ice Gauntlet using the Totem as well as, uh, or I guess the Ice Pylon, as well as, obviously, the Entombed, where you could just go in your Ice Block and just stay away from any kind of contact or you know conflict there. So I think Ice Gauntlet does serve a purpose. It definitely has some slow it has some utility involved with it. Uh, the damage is not insane in my opinion, but that's probably okay just because of the amount of slows that you can really provide to your team. And like I said, utility all around. So I do want to give this one a rating here. Let's go back to uh, possibly giving it another B. And I think, you know, we do have a lot of Bs here, but I do think it's stronger than the spear in my opinion. I think it's going to stick right there with the Warhammer, Ice Gauntlet, and Spear being right in line with B. So realistically, what we could do, and uh, you know, real, I do want to kind of move this around just a little bit, because in my opinion, I don't think Life Staff's as strong as Sword and Shield. I think Sword and Shield's actually very, very strong. I think that's more realistic. And if we bring that Ice Gauntlet down to C and Spear down to C front of C, uh, right in front of Ice Gauntlet and Bow. I do think Ice Gauntlet's fairly good, though. So I do, I do want to keep Ice Gauntlet in that B tier, maybe right with Warhammer. Right? I can't tell if it's behind or in front of Warhammer. But I do think this is going to be a realistic, uh, in my opinion, you know, I, I'm starting to think, you know, Spear should go back up to B. So in my opinion, Spear is B or C. I do want to put it back up to B, actually, and say that this is my opinion, my PvP tier list currently, as uh, as it currently stands, obviously, with these patch notes uh, coming up, I guarantee we have some big, big changes before the actual release. So I do expect some big things to change. We'll probably do another tier list as we get closer to full release. But this is my thoughts on the PvP tier list. Let me know what you guys think about this tier list. Do you guys think that this makes perfect sense? Do you guys think I'm missing some things? I'm Obviously, I have, uh, you know, I've only had a certain amount of PvP gameplay out there, so I haven't played, you know, thousands and thousands of hours of this new patch where there's, uh, you know, different strong suits like Great Axe having, you know, huge pull range and obviously, uh, you know, that heavy attack, um, that heavy attack, uh, heavy attack glitch that uh, gives that second heavy attack huge amounts of damage. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on right now, so this is my opinion. Like I said, uh, so. Just keep it, you know, take it lightly. Play what's most fun to you because, like I said, this will all change, I'm assuming, as we get closer to launch. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to have a good day. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video.